Okay, in the special effects category chapter that I've named this, um, I'm going to show you something a little bit different. Okay. Here, I'm going to make a ground plane. Hit six on the keyboard. And I'm going to go into rendering, paintable, get brush. Paint, make paintable. That'll make this surface paintable. And paint template brush settings. So now I can pick out the scale of it. Okay, we're going to go in here to like grasses. And I'm going to choose some grass. And I'm going to up the paint ratio global scale to something a little bit bigger. Okay. And I'm just going to go like that, wiggle my mouse, and there we go. I got some grass. Okay. And if I paint a little bit more right there. And now you can vary it up too. You can add that type of grass. And another type of grass. That way you have a variation. But I would keep it towards the center. Now, there's a lot of stuff you can do with this. You can go to channels, brush profile. So you get the brush width, softness, flatness, stamp des density. If I lower that, you can see what happens. If I make it a little bit bigger, just a couple of them at a time. So whatever you develop as far as your grass, that's that's fine. What I want to do here is now take the plane and turn it so it is not renderable. Okay, that is under render stats. So I don't want it to catch shadow, receive shadows, visible, none whatsoever. So what'll happen here is when I render this out it'll just be grass. Okay. Now I'm going to get into an absolute side view. I like this angle better. Okay. That means when I render it, it should get something that looks like this. Okay. Now, also, what I want to do is play around with uh, a little bit of lighting. So I'm going to add a point light to the scene. Render that out. And then turn this on production quality. Okay, Seven on the keyboard will show me if my lighting is true do I need it in a different position or what um, so right now I'm just gonna kinda move this forward so it shines in front of the grass like that staying true to whatever this one is okay so in fact I think it's here if I hit 7 So six and then seven. I can kind of see where my light needs to be here. There we go. Good. Now if I render that out, let's see what I got. A little bit better. 
All right. Now you could play with this all day long, but what I want to do is show you how to turn it into a sprite. Um, here, I'm going to turn this into maybe a 1K square. Close that out and view it as a resolution gate. So I want to keep my grass within this square. And not really a sprite. I would say if you've ever been inside a video game and you see grass on the ground, it's actually being rendered via two image planes stuck together at two different angles. That's what we're developing, just to make things clear. All right, let me render this out. And let me take this into Photoshop. You can see what happened was anything black was transparent. Okay, that's great. That's absolutely great. Uh, now, if I hold command over the top of this and go into my channels, I can produce a new channel. where white becomes transparent. Now I believe it's white. I always get this wrong, but let's let's try it out. So I'm going to fill this with white. And usually what I else I do is I go in here and just I can paint it in. Another thing I don't like is the fact that it has this gray value sometimes. So, you know, you can do a threshold on this if you wanted to. So that's image adjustments threshold. And that will get rid of all of the white or the, all of the gray value. Okay. Sometimes that produces a, a better desirable effect. The problem with it is it's stair steps, so you're going to have to play around with those settings. Once you, once you see what I'm doing here, you'll be able to play around with this all day long. All right, now, I need you to unlock this layer and put this layer at the bottom. Then we're going to capture some of the color from these. And we're going to put it and fill it within the, the next level down. Okay, so we have something like this. All right, so what we have, quickly to review, we have an alpha channel in here. We have a color background, and I'm on that background layer. The background layer should be unlocked, and I'm going to save this as a TGA, Targa. I'm going to include alphas. And I'm going to throw this within my color bake folder just for the just for an example. Okay, so what I'm going to do is now this would never port over to a video game. These these special effects within Maya stay within Maya, so they're kind of useless to me. What I'm going to do is take a polygon plane, lower it down to its lowest common denominator of divisions, and then go to hypershade and import my grass in here. Okay, color bake, and then go to grass. There we go. And then I'm going to develop a material that's flat and add that texture to it as a default. Make sure you add it as default or it will not work. You'll have to add two separate properties to it. Now this will actually transverse into a game. So what I usually do is zero, 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 and then you can duplicate this, command D, rotate it, 
and then develop this into the same thing. Now it looks like a s grass coming out of the ground, but it's actually really a texture, and that's how they do it in video games. So just to pop it up here, let's uh, take both of these and apply it to the surface, and there we go. You could never tell that that is not 3D geometry. unless you walked up to it and saw it at this angle. Sometimes they even duplicate it a few more times. It works with trees, some shrubbery, and grass. But anything that you can paint out, render out, and then bring into Photoshop works about the same. Enjoy.